Hello there and welcome back to Bullets for Bucks. My name is Stephen Bresnaw and today we're going to be comparing the 6 ARC or 6mm advanced rifle cartridge against the 6mm Creedmoor or 6 Creedmoor. Both were developed by Hornady Ammunition and so we're going to compare using ballistic data on the 6 ARC with the ALDX factory offering versus the 6mm uh, ELDX factory offering. So first and foremost, you're going to notice that obviously the 6 ARC is a mini action cartridge that can be shot out of an AR-15 platform, whereas the 6mm Creedmoor is a short action cartridge that could be shot out of an AR-10 platform. So as you probably noted, one is 6mm ARC, one 6mm Creedmoor. So they both utilize a 6mm bullet, um, which tend to have a very high BC, tend to be a very efficient round in the wind and at long ranges. So let's go over some of the basic ballistics on the 6ARC and then compare them uh, against the 6mm Creedmoor. So the 6ARC, or Advanced Rifle Cartridge, was developed by Hornady primarily for combat purposes or for varmint hunting. It can be used on game animals up to the size of deer, but I really would recommend it not anything bigger than probably an antelope. They have a 105 grain bolt tail hollow point Hornady Black ammunition, they have a 108 grain ELDM ammunition, and a 103 grain ELDX offering. We will be using the ELDX offering as a comparison here today. The ELDX offering has a muzzle velocity of 2,800 feet per second and 1,793 foot-pounds of energy. It has a muzzle velocity of 3,050 feet per second and and foot-pounds of energy are 2127. So it has significantly more foot-pounds of energy, which isn't surprising, obviously, because it has a lot higher powder capacity. All right, so now let's go over some of the ballistic data at 500 yards and then 1,000 yards, starting with the 6 ARC. At 500 yards with the 6 ARC, you have a velocity of 1,979 feet per second. You have uh, energy at 895 foot-pounds, and wind drift is at and a wind drift of 18 inches. With the six millimeter Creedmoor at 500 yards, you have a velocity of 2184, 1,090 foot-pounds of energy, and a wind drift of 15, excuse yes, 15.9 inches. So less wind drift, higher velocity with the six millimeter Creedmoor. No surprise there, it has a lot higher case capacity, like I said, but it is not an AR-15 compatible cartridge. Going back to the six, uh, six ARC, at 1,000 yards, you have 1,340 feet per second as the velocity, 411 foot-pounds of energy, and a wind drift in inches of 86.7 inches. With the six millimeter Creedmoor, you have a velocity of 1,489, 507 foot-pounds of energy, and 76.2 inches of wind drift. So, what does all this mean? Well, one is a lighter cartridge, so if you're carrying a high capacity or a lot of ammunition, it's going to be lighter. It's also going to have far less recoil than the 6mm Creedmoor, although the 6mm Creedmoor uh, recoil is very light. The 6ARC is a great round, like I said, for varmint hunting, small game, maybe up to antelope size or deer um, on the larger end of the spectrum. It's going to have very light recoil. It's going to perform very well, much better than a 223. The 6mm Creedmoor is definitely going to be a superior cartridge as far as PRS shooting, long range shooting. It's going to carry more energy, shoot flatter, have less wind drift, and basically is going to have better terminal performance also on a little bit larger game. So really it depends what you want. If you're going for a bolt gun, the 6mm Creedmoor is the way to go. If you're looking at an AR-15 style platform, the 6ARC is not a bad choice at all. Hope you enjoyed this video of the 6mm Creedmoor versus the 6 ARC. I'll have more videos coming up that are more in depth on some of these cartridges as well as range videos actually testing them in the field. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to hearing back from you.